Predict the structure of the molecule with the formula C5H10O. Well, first, in order for us to predict the structure, we need to figure out the degrees of unsaturation, which will tell us if we have any double bonds or rings in our structure. The formula for degrees of unsaturation is as follows. It's the number of carbons times 2 plus 2 minus the number of hydrogens over 2. So let's go ahead and do it for this formula, C5H10O. We have 5 carbons times 2 plus 2. And then we will subtract number of hydrogens, which is 10 over 2. So this is 12 minus 10 over 2, that's 1. What does 1 degree of unsaturation mean? So 1 degree of unsaturation means either a double bond or a ring. 2 degrees of unsaturation will mean 2 double bonds or 2 rings or um, triple bond or a double bond and a ring. Those are all the options. 3 degrees, so on and so forth. We have 1, so we know that we have either a double bond or we have a ring. We also can see that there is an oxygen in our formula. By the way, oxygen is not counted in degrees of saturation. Um, so if, if we see that there is an oxygen and it says one degree of saturation, there is a chance that it could be, uh, our degree of saturation could be a double bond O. So we're going to put a double bond O with a question mark and we will, we will check later. Once we count the degrees of unsaturation, the next thing to do is to write out our HNMR chart. So let's go ahead and write it out. I will basically write the number of hydrogen splitting and a ppm for every signal that I see. So let's go ahead and quickly write it out. I see that there are three hydrogens and we see that there are three peaks here for the three hydrogens, which means it's a triplet. If you see three peaks, it's a triplet. At, this looks like about 0 0.9 ppm. Next, we see two hydrogens, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is a sextet, so we will say two hydrogen sextet at 1.6 ppm. Then we will say three hydrogen, just one pick, so it's a singlet. And you will get used to naming. Um, three hydrogen singlet around 2.1 ppm. You don't have to be super precise. And the last one is two hydrogen triplet. Again, we see three peaks at 2.4 ppm. So we will say two hydrogen triplet at 2 ppm. Great. Once we have written all of our things uh, out, we will take a look at the chart, the ppm chart. Um, you can find one online or you can use the one that your professor gave you. I am going to use this one. And I uh, Sometimes it's written like this, or sometimes they just list the hydrogens and list their ppms, whatever you would prefer. We can start by just starting, let's call this A, B, C, A, B, C, and D. And we will just start from the first um, three hydrogens that we see. So this says three hydrogen triplet, 0 0.9 ppm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a carbon and I'm going to put three hydrogens on it. Next, I'm going to ask myself, what does it mean for the three hydrogens to be a triplet? Well, to be a triplet means that the rule is n plus 1. So it means that they are next to two neighboring hydrogens. Two plus one becomes three, that's why it's a triplet. So these three hydrogens must be next to two neighboring hydrogens. So I'm going to draw another carbon and I'm going to draw two hydrogens on the neighboring carbon. And I'm going to call this A. Also, it says 0.9 ppm. You can see here that um, 
0 0.7 to 1.7 is a carbon that has a hydrogen and nothing special around it. So there is nothing, no special functional group around it. So we're done with that. Next, we have two hydrogens. We can see here that we have either, it's going to be either B or D, either two hydrogen sextet or two hydrogen triplet. Which one are we going to choose? Well, for two hydrogen triplet means that these two hydrogens are only next to two neighboring hydrogens. Remember the rule is N plus one. So if you're triplet, you're next to two neighboring hydrogens. If you're doublet, you're next to one neighboring hydrogen. If you're a quartet, you're next to three neighboring hydrogens. Singlet, next to zero neighboring hydrogens. So going back to our problems, we have two hydrogen triplet, which means these two hydrogens would be next to two neighboring hydrogens. Well, if I look at these two hydrogens that I have here, they're already next to three. So it's impossible for it, them to be D because they already have too many hydrogens to, to be a triplet. So this must be B. Sextet means I'm next to five neighboring hydrogen. Remember, it's always one less. So I'm next to three on this side, and I must be next to two on this side. Three plus two, five plus one will give me six, which is a sextet. So this is B. Now let's look C. That must be, so we did A and B. So the only two hydrogens left in our structure must be D and it says it's a two hydrogen triplet okay well these two hydrogens are next to these two hydrogens so this these are two hydrogens and because they're next to two hydrogens plus one two plus one is three therefore they're a triplet Therefore, on the other side, they must have no neighboring hydrogens because they are already a triplet. Also, if we look at 2 ppm, and if we take a look here, we see that a hydrogen on a carbon that's next to C double bond O is around 2.1 to 2.6 ppm. So maybe on the other side, they have no neighboring hydrogens because they have a C double bond O. We knew that we have oxygen in our structure anyway, and we have one degree of unsaturation, so it's possible for it to be C double bond O, and our PPM shift matches. So we have taken care of D, and we only have um, C left, which is three hydrogen singlet. So we will draw another carbon, and we will draw three hydrogens, and these three hydrogens are next to no neighboring hydrogens. And if they're next to no neighboring hydrogens, that means they're singlet. Zero plus one is equal to one. And so um, this must be our C. And let's check the ppm. It says 2.1 ppm. And we know that hydrogen on a carbon next to C double bond O must be 2.1 to 2.6. So this fits perfectly. Therefore, this must be our structure. We have three hydrogens that are, uh, that are next to two hydrogens. So three hydrogen triplet, which is A. We have two hydrogens next to one, two, three, four, five. Five plus one, six. So two hydrogen sextet, this one. Two hydrogens next to one, two. Two hydrogens, two plus one is three, two hydrogens triplet, and then we have three hydrogens next to no hydrogens, and that must be a singlet, which is what we see. I hope you found this video helpful. This is Maya from Transformation Tutoring, and I look forward to seeing you in more, uh, seeing and showing you more videos.